So, uh, hello all, thanks Rachel for the introduction. Uh, as Rachel says, my name is Bill Andrew. I'm a practitioner with International Synergies NI, and we deliver the resource matching service for Invest NI here in Northern Ireland. And this is just gonna be a very brief overview of the service we offer. And with a nod to the theme of today's webinar, I wanna to try to explain how effective resource matching can have a positive impact on CO2 emissions and hence climate change. So first of all, what is uh, resource matching? So what is resource matching? Well, we talk about extending the lifespan of a resource so that when it's of no further value to one company, rather than be disposed of in the conventional manner, that resource becomes a valuable input for another company. Uh, this is a vital component of circular economy business models and primarily involves physical resources such as packaging, processed byproducts, maybe redundant items, etc. But the benefits can ripple out to other areas of business productivity ultimately resulting in things like uh, reduced environmental impact and operating costs and better supply chains and collaborations. It's often referred to as industrial symbiosis. Uh, so why is this important? Well, look, in a recent report entitled Resource Efficiency and Climate Change, published by the International Resource Panel, one of the findings was that emissions from the product of materials increased from five gigatons of CO2 equivalent in 1995 to 11 gigatons in 2015. That increased the share of emissions from the production of materials on global emissions from 15% to 23%. And by materials, they mean solid materials, including metals, wood, and plastic. And these are the very materials we at International Synergies are trying to resource match on a day-to-day -day basis. Because we know that if we can reduce the production of new materials, we can have a positive effect on the impact on CO2 emissions. And I guess to further back this up, the idea that resource efficiency measures can contribute to reducing global carbon emissions and help mitigate global climate crisis. This is further supported by, for example, CREDS, the Center for Research into Energy Demand Solutions. CREDS is an academic institution based at the University of Oxford, and they conducted research into a number of widely accepted energy reduction measures. And their findings too overwhelmingly supported the idea that effective resource efficiency is in fact the biggest single opportunity for mitigating a climate crisis. So much of what we do at International Synergies is to try to change companies' perceptions of their waste streams. For many companies, simply paying for their waste to be collected by a waste and recycling company is enough. Even better if they're issued with a certificate that a percentage has been diverted from landfill. But this often simply means that the resource has been destroyed. It's been incinerated perhaps for say energy from waste. Our goal is to move these resources further up the waste hierarchy, to recycle, reprocess or reuse with the ultimate goal of avoiding waste entirely. Ultimately, the higher the level in the waste hierarchy, the less dependency we have on virgin materials, the greater the cost savings and of course, much lesser is the impact on the environment. So let's take a look at the support we offer and how we go about it. Firstly, it's important to say that we're funded by InvestNI, therefore the service we offer is free to all businesses, whether you're an InvestNI client or not. And let me stress that again, it's free. There's no downside, there's no hidden costs. Whether or not you act on the advice we give or the introductions that we make is entirely at your discretion. Our role is to engage with the local business community, which we do through a number of activities, uh, workshops, seminars, presentations, webinars like this and various other events, all of which have the purpose of getting the message out there and getting us as a team of practitioners through the door to engage directly with businesses to set up advisory visits. Advisory visits are, are meetings, actual meetings preferably, but more recently they have been virtual meetings, but they're meetings to review a company's resources, its processes and its supply chain. In fact, we'll assess your waste streams, take note of the available resources, both those that you have and those that you want, and we'll process that information through our database, which we call Synergy. And we'll provide on most occasions a variety of solutions for alternate ways of disposing of resources. And this takes the form of introductions. Introductions to other companies that can reuse, recycle, or reprocess your waste, or who can simply provide you with a better perhaps more environmentally friendly, but ultimately more cost-effective solution than disposal to landfill. And finally, we follow up. We follow up on the introductions that we've made. Sometimes that's just to help facilitate and move things along, or if discussions have come to a halt, we'll try to offer alternative solutions. If on the other hand, they've moved to a positive conclusion, it's important that we capture the details of the resulting synergies. 
And did I mention it is free to all businesses in Northern Ireland? So let's take a look at uh, maybe some of the benefits that we've achieved delivering this service locally. From an environmental point of view, we've helped divert over 400,000 tonnes of waste from landfill and reduced carbon emissions by almost as much. Plus, we've saved the use of nearly 260,000 tonnes of virgin material in the process. In economic terms, we've helped Northern Ireland businesses achieve cost savings of over £26 million and additional sales of around £17 million. And at the same time, we've helped to make the business case for private investment of over two million. So how can we help your business? Well, quite simply, get in touch. Our service, as I say, is funded by our host today, Invest NI, so it's free to use by all businesses in Northern Ireland. Um, thanks for tuning in today. Our contact details are on the screen, and we look forward to hearing from you in due course. Thank you, Bill, for your presentation and for showing us why resource matching is an important part in tackling the climate change challenge. Just to remind everyone, our Q&A session will be coming up after our next presentation, so please use the question function to submit your comments and queries. I am now going to hand back to Geraldine to discuss the support available from business in the community.